Hello, welcome to Linda Lakes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today, this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for, so please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything's going to resonate with you, and that's okay. So pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate, all right? All right. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated. And it does help out the channel. Thank you guys for all your donations. Thank you for all your super things. It is greatly appreciated. And it does not go unnoticed. Okay. Listen, there's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot. What? It's already happening. <laughs> My gosh. We're like not even a minute in. I'm already stumbling. Okay, listen. There's a lot of change that's going to be happening. Okay. So just expect it mentally prepare yourself for it all right don't get scared of it get excited whoever i'm speaking to get excited for this change that's entering your life all right for a lot of you i feel like this change is going to be happening in um your financials your financial situation um and also when it comes to your love life and your friendships and relationships in general okay the reason I say that is because when I was getting all these cards out, okay, <clears throat> this card came out. The wedding card. It says this situation involves marriage. So for whoever I'm speaking to, you're about to be getting into some sort of committed relationship of some sort, okay? This can be a committed relationship when it comes to like a business or when it comes to some sort of um, collaboration or project, um, Something like that. Some sort of commitment, child. Okay? Or this is literally a wedding. Okay? <sighs> I don't know about y'all, but over the past week, I've been seeing nothing but wedding ads on my feed and stuff. So, I don't... That, for some of you, maybe you relate. Maybe that resonates. Um, yeah, I'm trying something new right now. I'm changing the, the scenery. Okay? We'll see how this works out. Um... I hope you guys can hear me. I'm not using my mic this time, so. I hope the sound isn't like poopy, okay? So the song that I channeled for you guys, okay? I channeled this a couple days ago and then I was just like, meh, I didn't know if I wanted to like really do a reading on it, but it keeps coming up in my brain. So I know I have to like say it, okay? those who channel messages you know what i'm talking about like if you don't get out the if you don't get it out then it's gonna it's gonna keep repeating in your brain <laughs> okay so the song is by aerosmith it's called i don't want to miss a thing so I, what i feel is going on for y'all is that there's somebody here that truly is missing you missing your presence missing your healing energy missing your conversations missing your advice missing your comfortingness if that's even a word like someone misses you someone this is somebody here though that didn't think that they would miss you okay like whoever this individual is or individuals they're they're realizing and understanding your value okay um this could be like um ex-lovers this could be ex-friends this could be ex-co-workers bosses etc okay but the song starts off by saying, I could stay awake just to hear you breathing. Watch you smile while you were sleeping. Oh no, child. <sighs> okay, watch you. <laughs> what is it? Okay, watch you smile while you were sleeping, while you far while you were far away and dreaming. I could spend my life in this sweet surrender. I could stay lost in this moment forever. Where a moment spent with you is a moment I treasure, okay? This is another thing, too. I kept getting the word, get lost, or the words, get lost, right? Um, so, either there's somebody here that's, like, leaving another individual, um, breaking up with another individual separating from another individual divorcing another individual whatever this is somebody is getting lost from someone else i also feel like there's somebody here who feels lost without you okay um 
I also feel like somebody who misses you is the same person that was wanting wanting to get rid of you. Something like that, okay? Listen, I know there's a weird-ass glare happening. I can't fix that. I tried. Um, <laughs> let me see. What else? Okay, so let's get back to the... Let's get back to the lyrics, okay? Um, then it goes... Uh, don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep because I miss you, babe. And I don't want to miss a thing because even when I dream of you. That's the part I kept hearing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's the part that I kept hearing. Okay. So there's somebody here who's like really dreaming of your ass. Okay. Um, and I feel like on some level it's driving them kind of nuts. I also feel like there's somebody here who could be astral traveling towards you. That's a, that's another thing that I'm getting. They might be trying to hover over you while you're breathing and sleeping at night. Okay, that sounds creepy. So I don't know. Okay, that could be a separate individual. Just let you know. Or it could be the same person. I don't know. I can't tell, Joe. Um, but there's someone here who definitely wants to lie close to you. And feel your heart breathing. <laughs> feel your heart beating. Okay. Um. Somebody wants to be with you forever. They don't want to miss a thing. Okay. Somebody misses your your smile. I'm also getting there's someone here that doesn't want to fall asleep. Okay. This is okay. If you guys don't know how I read so far, or some of you already know how I read, but if you haven't catched on. I always look at something, whenever I receive messages, I always look at it, the message that I'm being given um, in different angles, okay? Um, I also feel like this could be a message about somebody here who's afraid to go to sleep at night because they are having nightmares and you were in them. And this could be somebody here who betrayed you, okay? That's for some of you, not all y'all. Um, I also was getting something about um, baseball, okay? Uh, somebody here maybe was playing a game with you. They thought they were going to win the game, but they, lost, they, they stumbled or fumbled the ball or something like that when it comes to you or when it comes to some sort of situation, all right? I also feel like um, somebody here is up next. You know how, like, they go batter up? And then they're like, you're up next. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're up next for something. Okay? It's your fucking turn. Somebody here was trying to cut in line. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Okay? <laughs> some of you could be seeing 111 a lot. Okay? You guys could be seeing 333 a lot. You guys could also be seeing mirroring numbers. Um, you guys could be seeing 414, 515, 616 or something mirroring numbers um you and another individual could be mirroring energies as well at this time too and i feel like whoever you're mirroring okay you and another person uh could be experiencing the same kind of situation i feel like that is not a, a, that person is not a bad person whoever you're you two are mirroring you guys are whatever <sighs> okay so let's look up the number 311 because that was the number i saw before i started filming okay okay it says the angel number 311 can have multiple meanings including love okay as is the angel number 311 can mean that you should let go of stressors about your love life and trust that you deserve to be loved it can also be a message to open or to be open to meeting new romantic partners or to end a relationship that isn't serving you okay that makes sense so there's somebody here who could be ending a relationship with another individual okay they could be telling them to get lost because they realize or they're taking themselves out of the situation because they know whoever they're dealing with is not for them or this person's not serving them, okay? Ooh. This is another thing too. If you guys are seeing the number 311, it's saying, um, 
If you have been self-isolating and wondering why you aren't in a relationship yet, the number 311 can mean that a soulmate is ready to enter your life if you just put yourself out there. So some of you might need to put yourself out there if that's what you want. If you want to be in a relationship, you might need to put yourself out there, okay, in order for that opportunity to come in, all right? You can't find your soulmate in your kitchen, okay, or in your bedroom, okay? You got your, your soulmate's outside somewhere, okay? <laughs> Um, what else? You guys can be seeing blue jays at this time. That's another thing. Gosh dang. Hold on. Um, I believe blue jays are representative, rep representative of like, um, feminine energies, feminine, son of a gun, feminine, uh, ancestors. Okay. Visiting you coming in to bring you a sign okay so if you guys have any passed over um feminine energies like an aunt a grandma a mom or something they're watching over you okay but let's also look at this and they're watching over maybe even like this connection Listen, the le the electronics is just, I don't know what's going on with me and these electronics, bro. <laughs> All day, it's been a goddamn hot mess. Confirmation. I don't know if you guys heard that. All day, it's been a hot mess with these gosh dang electronics. You hear that? car alarm there's an alarm going off there's something here that you need to be warned about okay so there could be a warning a potential warning in this reading for someone um blue jays it says blue jays can symbolize many things including communication confidence strength clarity intelligence and adaption adoption adapa chow <laughs> i can't um you know the word. It says some cultures view blue jays as lucky or <laughs> as lucky or a sign of good things to come. It says in Christianity, it says blue jays symbolize divinity, honesty, kindness, protection, and selflessness. It says, um, what else does it say, child? It says in Wicca, blue jays represent healing, abundance, and creation. And in Native American culture, blue jays represent change. And seeing one after dawn or before sunset is said to signal this the change, that change is coming. Okay, so change is coming for whoever I'm speaking to, all right? There's someone here who could be curious about you, all right? That's another thing that I'm getting. Someone wants to tell you something. Oh, my eyeball. Sorry, my hair is just... Everything just... I'm just complaining. All right, let me... Um, Let's get into the freaking... Let's get into the cards. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is going on? What do they need to hear at this time? Okay, so we have two of Ariel. Somebody here could have been juggling something here. It says it's important to have balance. Working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun, okay? Maybe somebody here had a choice between you and somebody else and Maybe somebody's realizing they made the wrong choice, okay? Or there's a choice that you're going to have to be making here soon, okay? Any more? We have seven of Raphael. It says, time to make a decision. It says, be clear on what you want and take action. It says, a need for detoxification. So somebody here really needs to re release what no longer serves them at this time. It's, it's you. Time has run out to be on the fence or something like that like someone has to make a definitive answer or decision or something a concrete decision
Someone here could be a gourmet chef or something. That's for some of you, not all y'all. We have 10 of Michael. It says a situation has ended and you are finally free. It says new opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. Okay. So there's a cycle here that's definitely ended. Let's follow my deck. Two of Gabriel. Someone's planning something. Someone's definitely planning to come towards you, whoever I'm speaking to. For sure. All right. Maybe this person was taking a lot of time, like, in their head, deciding of what to do. Okay, there's something here about action. Someone here has to take action. Someone's going to be deciding to take a bold decision or this is something or a bold action or this is something that you need to do. I don't know. Flip it where it needs to go. Um, yeah, it says important relationships with people who share your vision. So you guys are definitely going to be meeting somebody here. Very important. Okay. Spirit, what the hell going on? There was a lot of mountains or delays when it came to this situation, for sure. Okay, when it comes to this connection in general, yeah, when it comes to the matters of the heart. All right, it says love, deep affection coming. And that's coming along with some sort of wealth here. We have wealth. Okay, this could be financial or just... Something's going to be happening in September. Okay, or you guys could be dealing with a Virgo or you're a Virgo. Okay, or a Libra. Flip it where it needs to go. Something here is your justice. Or maybe you might meet this person in September. Some of you might live by a by a hill or a valley or something. Come on now. Oh, success wanted to pop out. What else do I need to hear? It says arrow. It says you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Okay? So if you're wondering if you are on the right path or not, you definitely are whoever I'm speaking to you. Especially when it comes to your career sector, you're definitely on the right path. I feel like if you continue going where what you're doing, you're going to get this. Um, I also feel like you guys might meet someone in the same career field as you. The fuck? What the hell going on, spirit? Maybe you both went through a lot of um, Ten of Swords type of situations. A lot of painful relationships or experiences. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is going on? What do they need to hear? We got confidence. It says your success will be determined by your own confidence. Okay. Continue doing what you're doing. Okay. Whatever that may be. Tell me more spirit. If you continue believing in yourself, you'll succeed. If you continue pouring love and care into yourself. That's what the world will reflect back to you. We have those that lie down with dogs, get up with fleas. Man, whenever this card comes out, I feel like this is a warning. Like, okay. Maybe it's a choice between two people, child. What are the cards again? Two of Ariel, seven of Raphael. Okay, so out of the two choices, there's one that you need to get rid of. One you need to detox out of your life in order to... Put the past behind you somebody here could be from your past that you're that could be coming back to talk to you or there could be two people from your past coming back or maybe when you put yourself out there okay maybe for some of you guys oh it's 404 for some of you you guys could be come on now sir <sighs> oh my God. 
Someone here could be a real estate agent. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Um, once you put yourself out there and you get to know someone new, I feel like there's a, pa there's a past person that might come back, okay, to enter your life, child. That's for some of you, not all y'all. For some of you, there is a past person coming back that has done the healing work, okay? And you might need to choose between them and someone else. Tell me more, Spirit. What the heck is going on? Yeah, we have climbed the ladder. It says, you're climbing the ladder of success one step at a time. So your life is leveling up, whoever I'm speaking to. You're definitely um, getting some new level of success here. Yeah, you're being prepared for something here. Something might happen in the next four days. From the time you watch this video, we have prayer. It says, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe, and it will be yours. Okay, so whoever I'm speaking to, maybe in the next four days, your prayers are going to be coming into um, fruition. We have the calling. We have expect to receive the news that you've been patiently waiting on. You're going to be receiving some sort of call, text, some form of communication, or you're going to be finding out some sort of new information about something here. Or about someone whatever this information is it's going to lead to some sort of celebration and some sort of victory this sounds freaking dope holy spirit holy angels what is this those that lie down with dogs get up with fleas child what is going on don't mingle your energy with nobody <laughs> stop i'm all put yourself out there <laughs> two seconds later i'm like don't don't be with no one no but for real just be mindful what are we who what is this rainbow whoever i'm speaking to whatever whatever you've been praying for manifesting it's gonna be coming true your wish is gonna be granted someone's gonna feel like it's it came out of nowhere but it's like it's not gonna be coming out of nowhere it's coming in divine timing you're going to be at the right place at the right time. Something's going to be perfect. I don't know what that's about. But you guys could be seeing 999 a lot. Okay? You could be a life path 9. You could be a life path 8. It's because of your persistence and your hard work. And you being devoted to your spiritual path. Is why you're going to be receiving this. Okay? You guys could be seeing a lot of bees. Or you could be like having a lot of bees like buzz around you. Okay, I know I had like three bees buzzing around me when I went to go get my nails done the other day. <laughs> I was like scared. I was like, get away from me. <laughs> okay. Listen, they have stingers. That's scary. Um, someone here could be born in 1989 or 1998. Holy Spirit, hi angels, tell me what the heck is going on here. What do they need to her? Okay, we got microphone. It says news, broadcast, expression, strong opinion, make known, public speaking, okay? Speaking truth, communicate, social media being heard, speaking up. Okay, so whoever I'm speaking to, if you have a platform or you, you know, yeah, you have a platform. If you have a platform, like you have a podcast, you have a YouTube, you have a Twitter, whatever the fuck it's called, a TikTok, whatever it is, something might blow up, okay? Or somebody here, um, if you take the chance to, on yourself to like, speak your truth or share some sort of opinion express yourself in some way uh, you're gonna be surprised that you get you go viral or something someone might go viral i'm also getting somebody here wants to express their love to you that's another thing they want to shout it from the top of the mountains someone here could be a sagittarius someone here could be a cancer someone here could be a leo okay what do we have those that lie down with dogs get over please yeah, someone, somebody doesn't want to miss a thing. I'm also getting like, someone feel, it keeps getting called to come towards you to say something. Okay? They, they know they need to communicate some shit to you in order for some sort of wish of theirs to be granted and also for some sort of abundance or blessing for to come in to them as well or something. 
Someone's first motto or last name starts with an M. This could be you or someone else. Those that lie down with dogs, spirit. What's this? Oh, that is in reverse. Those who lie down with dogs. Shooting star in reverse. Okay, so whoever I'm speaking to. There's, you got a fake emperor and a real emperor coming towards you. You see how this, this has Aries and, and it's in reverse? That's how I'm looking at it. You got two people coming in. Man or woman, flip it where it needs to go. One is on top of their shit. A leader has their head on straight. And then the other one is the complete opposite. They could be lazy. Um, they could have no direction. They could be lost in life. Okay? They may not even know who they are or if they even want a commitment or something. You just got to be careful. But I feel like both are coming in with the same... Almost saying the same shit, like, oh, I want to be with you, you're the love of my life, da-da-da-da-da. You just got to be careful, child. I feel like if you choose the emperor in reverse, child, and you lie down, you're going to get fleas with this person. Like, you're going to, your wishes are not going to be granted. Whatever you wished on a shooting star is not going to come true, okay? So just be mindful of this. Just be mindful. Someone here could be feeling pressured as well. <gasps> Excuse me. Someone's gonna shoot their shot. You're gonna have a, you're gonna have options coming towards you shooting their shot. Okay. My hair is bothering the shit out of me. Tell me more, spirit. What's going on? Why do we got? Climb up the ladder, spirit. Person, water, martial. Okay. Okay, if you're an author, an advisor, a counselor, or a healer, you're you're gonna be getting some sort of promotion here, okay? You're gonna have some sort of improvement here um, when it comes to what you do for work, okay? You could be a water sign, you could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or you could have that sign somewhere in your chart. Or you could do something um, very intuitive. Or you could, whatever you do, you use your intuition, okay? You could be a nurse. You could be a doctor. You could be a painter. You could be a, a cook, a chef. You, you could do a lot of things, okay? I also feel like there could be a water sign here that's taking your success. Um, they're taking it personally. So there could be somebody here who could be comparing like where they are in life to where you are in life. Um, and they're taking it personally. Like they feel like it's a personal attack, your success or your, your growth or something here. That's another thing that I'm getting. Um, who the fuck is this? And if this is a success you haven't experienced yet, it's success that might be coming towards you soon. Okay. You guys could be seeing the number six a lot. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who is this person that's in their feelings about the collective success? Child, please. Tell me more. So this is someone you've known for a very long time. This is someone here that wants to give you a false offer. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a horse. Note the date or you do. Okay. Tell me more. Who is this person that's taking it personally? This is someone here who's like on and off on how they feel. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of an ox. Note the date. This could be you or the person that's in their feelings about you doing good in life. This could be a soulmate. So this could be a family member, a close friend. Or an ex, tell me more. So anyone really, a masculine energy. So this could be a, mas a masculine energy that's taking your success, your promotion, um, your improvement, your self-improvement, your self-development, personally. They're taking it personally, okay? This Be mindful. This person wants to come in and act like they want to nurture and support you. But it's false. It's a false offer 
Now, mind you, this I could be talking to a masculine energy and someone's coming towards you with a false offer as well. So just please flip it where it needs to go. I can't read everyone's situations. That would be too time consuming. Um, let me see what else, what else, what else, what else. Yeah, read between the lines when this person comes towards you. Someone's gonna come in acting like they really care. Like I was saying before, you're gonna have two people. They're gonna come in kind of saying the same shit, but you gotta read between the lines. And stay confident. There's one person that wants to continue to big you up, okay? And then someone else that sees your confidence and they wanna tear it down. Be mindful of that, okay? Whoever I'm speaking to, you fucking bold as hell and you're doing it gracefully. Ciao. Someone can't understand how you do something. You make something look easy is another thing that I'm getting. I'm also getting like when someone, someone knows that it's going to require effort or something to do something here. Okay. Um, I'm also getting there's something here that's going to be coming or entering your life. Something new, right? With the change energy. You might need to get expert advice on whatever this is. Whoever I'm speaking to, you might decide to leap into doing something that you haven't ever done before or starting a business that no one else has ever done. Something here is very innovative, okay? You might need to get laser focus on it and maybe hone on learning new skills when it comes to a certain thing or... Um, Also, not being scared of it or something. Not being, I don't know. Or maybe you need to get a team together. I don't know who I'm talking to, but whoever that's for, you know what I'm saying. Also, pray about it. Have faith that it's going to work out. Someone here could be a Leo or a Sag, or someone here could have Leo or, Leo or Sag somewhere in their chart. God damn. Emerald keeps coming out with chocolate. <laughs> These cards keep coming out together. Okay, so... All right. Someone here could be born in 91. Don't have to be. But. Chow. Justice is yours. Just Your justice is going to be sweet. As long as you remain confident within yourself. Okay. And have confidence in your discernment as well when it comes to when these people or persons or options come in. Also, be very, be confident in your, in, in your ability to, to discern when it comes to some sort of new information that is coming to you as well, okay? This doesn't have to just be about a relationship. This also could be about like something when it comes to your career, like... You might be getting some sort of career offers and you need to be more discerning about like who it is or what it is or what the heck is going on. What's up with the love situation, Spirit? Okay, someone's deciding to come in and make an effort here when it comes to this situation. Someone definitely wants to make a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Ugh. Hold on. And then we have wedding again at the bottom of the deck. Something about children could be involved. Maybe you have children with this person. So for some of you, you might have some like a baby mama or a baby daddy that wants to have a second go or a second try with you. Okay, they want to come in and say they want to make things work for the children or something like that. But for some of you, not all of y'all. Maybe that's why it might be hard to like make a decision or something here. Um, that's not good. So look, I said it's not that good because this card came out in reverse. So I feel like if you decide to go back to somebody that you have children with, you're just, you're going to be showing yourself, you're going to be betraying yourself basically because you are lovable and you deserve love because 
whoever this person is, they're not coming in with love. That's you deserve more. You deserve better. Okay, than whoever this person is. All right. This person just wants to come in and get sexual. Okay. Or the connection you guys have is just a passionate one. It's not. I feel like that's as deep as it goes. Coming on straight. Yeah, be, you guys need to say no to that because you got someone else coming in very soon, okay? It says, clearly, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I also feel like there's someone here that's afraid to leave a person that they have children with because they have kids with them. They, they don't want to, maybe this is someone who grew up without a, a father figure or a mother figure or something and they don't want to separate because they, they don't want their children to go through what they went through but the thing is the relationship is toxic okay it's doing it's it's not setting a good example either way tell me more swear that's for some of you not all y'all yeah yeah you need to trust you need to trust yourself, I feel like, when it comes to this decision. Because you got someone coming in. You got someone coming in that's going to be deceptive. And you need to be mindful of that. Maybe that's what the warning is. Okay. What tells? What tells? What tells? They need to know spirit. <laughs> what the heck? Since you don't really care. So somebody is now realizing that you really don't care about them. Okay, I don't know if someone tried to do something so that you could care about them. I don't know if this is someone here who kind of like try to fake an emergency to see if you care or this is someone here who decided to date someone else and leave you to see if you chase them or something and they realize you you weren't chasing and this person's like surprised that you don't give a fuck i'm also getting like somebody here was also playing a game with you being like okay well i'm not gonna call them back da 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 i'm gonna make them call me back and it's been a long ass time and somebody's like shocked they're like i really thought the collective would care about me and call by now or text me or reach out but you haven't let me see we got cancer somebody here could be in their feels about that this could be someone who was really arrogant as well real cocky like individual is surprised someone here could be cancer um you could have cancer somewhere in your chart uh someone here could be a saggy you could be a sagittarius interesting so <laughs> somebody I'm also getting like somebody from your past just wants to come back and offer you something just to prove a point that you still care about them. That's another thing that I'm getting as well. Somebody gross. So you got two options. You got real love coming in and then you got a weirdo. There's someone here that's daydreaming about you though, for sure. Or literally dreaming about you. I feel like the person that you're actually supposed to be with is actually dreaming about you. And so is the weirdo. I think they both are honestly and i think for some of you you might be dreaming of the weirdo somebody's astral traveling <laughs> somebody doing something Tony more spirit what's happening someone here could be of asian descent involved in this situation there's something here about like top ramen or soup or chow these keep coming in reverse it says i'm struggling to find the right path and that was in reverse. So whoever I'm speaking to, I don't think you're struggling to find the right path. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you're definitely on the right path. I feel like there's someone that wants to come in that's lost and they want you to be lost too. We have neglected. It says, I failed to give you what you need. So somebody knows that they failed you. Okay. I'm also getting like, I don't know, this could be, I could see this in another way. There's someone here that does feel lost without you and they want to come back because when they were with you, they, they, they know that you, the advice that you give, gave them or the guidance that they received from you, they know that you were guiding them down the right path or something. Tell me more. 
We have chemistry. He says, I have never felt a passion this intense. So you and another person got a lot of passion here. Tell me one. We have shadow side. It says, you made me realize my flaws. So somebody here is realizing where they went wrong when it comes to this connection. Somebody's doing some sort of self-reflection here. We have chaser. It says, I don't want to chase anymore. Okay. So this could be you collective. You're no longer chasing this person. We have forgiveness. It says, I'm struggling to get over the past. So there's something here about forgiveness. This could be even you collective. Maybe you're, you're finding it hard to forgive this person who failed you in some way or neglected you or didn't treat you like how you deserve to be treated. Maybe this is somebody here that didn't um, give you a equal give and take. There's someone here that now wants to come in and give you reciprocity at this time. <coughs> Tell me more. We have reflection. It says being, being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. <sighs> Joe, I don't know how to feel about this shit. Tell me more. We have holding back. Oh my God. Sorry, I keep looking up because I have, <laughs> I have a projector, okay? There is like a, an electric, um, Something about, something about electricity. Something about a power outage? Or someone's losing power? Or someone wants to pull the plug on some sort of electric connection you, you and another person have? I don't know. We have holding back. It says I should have I should have expressed myself better. So somebody wishes they could have expressed how they really felt. Maybe that's part of like the shadow work that they need to work on. Maybe it's hard for someone to express themselves um, and to be vulnerable. Okay. We have values at the bottom of the deck. It says we have too many differences. So someone feels like you guys have too many differences, but at the same time, I feel like this person feels like if they come towards you, you will help them find their path. That's another thing that I'm getting. But let's see. Who is this gosh dang person spirit? False flame. <sighs> coming in. So you got a false flame coming in. You have a false flame coming in wanting to be a partner or a companion. This person's lost. They're going through, they're going through some shit. They're, uh, they're going through some shit. We have pig at the bottom of the deck. You and this person may had a strong sexual connection. Maybe that's what somebody is missing. This strong sexual connection. Okay, tell me more. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rabbit. You know, the date, this could be you or the person. You're, you're... You're making this person see something about themselves. And I feel like that's what the purpose was. Okay. This also could be people um, in your family as well or, or friends that you no longer speak to. That's for some of you, not all y'all. But definitely a false flame. Feels like they could have, they should have said something or expressed themselves better. Or maybe they're regretting that they played games with your heart or games with you in general. Okay. This is a runner. There's a runner that wants to come in and express how they feel. They feel like they made a mistake with you. They realize their ego was in the way. They know that they kept you wait. They know that they kept you waiting by not making a decision. This person could come in wanting to have a commitment with you, but the thing is, this person is a pathological liar. They're not very good with keeping their word. That's her. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Okay, and I felt like you and this other person don't value the same things out of life. So. 
I don't know. I feel like what you were supposed to teach this person, you've already taught them. You taught, and that that person also taught you something, okay, about yourself. So it's like, there's someone here that wants to continue to um, have something go on. It's like, someone wants to play with your fucking time or something. One person wants to play with your fucking time and someone else is actually serious about what they want. Their, their, their decision about you is very concrete. concrete someone here could work in construction or something someone here could be a construction worker i don't know dude something about it is irritating me i'm also getting like someone keeps looking at their wallet like somebody somebody broke that's another thing that i'm getting somebody's having money issues okay maybe that's why they feel salty if you're someone who's doing financially well the tables have turned their or yeah, maybe when you met this person, you weren't doing as well financially. And now tables have turned and they're not doing as well. It's making this person feel um, small or something. When it shouldn't, it really shouldn't. But this is someone who cares about things. That's why. You guys value different things. This 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 could be someone who's, a very, who's still stuck in kind of like the matrix or like um, someone who really values materialistic things. Okay, in order to feel good about themselves. Like, this is someone here that needs to drive the best of the best type of vehicle. Or this is someone here... Or they... they okay, there's a, there's nothing wrong with driving a nice vehicle. But when it when it comes down to, like, you only getting the nice vehicle to impress other strangers or people or to look a certain way in society, it's a... I don't know. It's something about it is weird. Okay? There's nothing wrong with spoiling yourself and buying something nice that you like. It's all about the intention. Damn it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. What's going on? Somebody here could be married. So there's a married person that wants to come in and they want to be with you. Maybe this is even someone who's or not married. Maybe they're just in a, commit, a committed relationship. They might want to break up with that person, come towards you. But this is someone who's still lost. Like, this person's not, no. And then you have someone else that actually wants to be with you. This could be someone you may have not met with, met yet, or somebody that you will meet soon, okay? Someone's hoping that you're gonna say yes to the dress. Who the fuck is this? Cause I'm getting like, someone here's sad. Somebody's sad because they know that you're gonna have, you're gonna be married with someone soon. Someone here could be sick. It makes someone sick to know that that you're going to be married or it makes someone sick to know that you still have hope to be in a relationship maybe someone was trying to get you to like lose hope in being with anyone okay yeah you have a good gentleman coming towards you okay this man could have salt and pepper hair I, that's for some of you not all y'all this person could be older than you. This person could be sober. They could be thoughtful, wise, supportive. This person could be their own boss. This could be someone who's going to help help teach you something. We have guide, mentor on here. That's for some of you. Not all y'all. Okay? This could be a family man. Yeah, this is something that you may not expect that's coming into your world. Okay? We have unexpected money here. Some of you might be receiving some sort of unexpected wealth as well, or some unexpected positive change in your life, all right? It's because you learned the lesson. I also feel like this this won't come in until you say no to whoever this false flame is, or whoever this weirdo is. I feel like you guys are not going to have, you guys might have another test. It could be this weirdo coming in. You need to say no. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you're going to pass it with flying colors because you already know this person's weird. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying. Okay? <sighs> Who is this person? Yeah, look. Okay, some of you, you could be a Virgo that I'm speaking to that is on a twin flame journey. You're going to get married to your twin flame soon, okay? Or you're going to reunite with your twin flame. You guys are going to be joining together. That's for some of you, not all y'all, okay? 
I could be speaking to a feminine energy. Or you have a feminine energy coming towards you, Virgo. Flip over needs to go. Okay. Who is this person that I say it? Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a goat. This person could be sad, not the date. There's a false flame that may find out that they have some sort of illness. <clears throat> okay, maybe they're having a hard time going to sleep. Or this is the person that doesn't want to go to sleep because they're afraid to see your face in their... <laughs> It could be having nightmares as for some of you not all y'all okay i shouldn't laugh that's fucked up what else someone might even a false flame might even come in and try to offer you money or something this is someone that's gonna try to this is someone here that doesn't want to give up on trying to like fuck you over basically like somebody this false flame can feel it in their bones that someone who's good for you is coming towards you and they want to come in and try to pull out all the stops to stop you from meeting that person or being committed to that person okay your twin flame coming in listen your twin flame is never gonna ghost you all right your twin flame is never gonna put you down your twin flame is never gonna make you feel less than okay who's going me? snake someone here could has a someone who has the chinese zodiac sign uh could of a snake could be gloomy or sad okay note the date or this is your chinese zodiac sign and someone is gloomy or sad about you tell me more someone somebody here feels upset because they feel like they self-sabotage some sort of relationship here with you like i said someone here feels like they dropped the ball okay someone's whole uh, um mission here was to try to get you to lose hope on being in a relationship with somebody or to stop you from being in a relationship with your twin flame this person could be someone who's in your family okay or somebody in someone else's family okay we got taurus i could be speaking to a taurus okay that could be sad or someone sad over a taurus child someone here could be karmic as fuck this could be a karmic taurus but where i need to go I know I have a karmic Taurus in my life, and I'm a Taurus. We have long term, okay. This could be a karmic Taurus friend, acquaintance, or coworker that you're dealing with, or a karmic Gemini, or I'm speaking to a Gemini, or you got Gemini somewhere in your chart. Flip it where it needs to go. You got a two-faced friend here who's sad because they thought they they destroyed you or in some way or blocked you. Now they now they losing hope. They're worried. They depressed. It's a Gemini. I'm also getting for some of you, if you've already met your twin flame, your twin flame could be sad right now. Because they're not with you. Or they're sad because of how things went. I don't know. What time is it? I can't even tell. Hold on. Okay, it's almost an hour. Um, god dang some of you you got something beautiful coming in we got the will of fortune here someone's gonna take a chance they're gonna they're gonna take a bold chance towards you this is someone here who's scared that you're not gonna want them or something maybe you haven't talked to this person in a while but you have good luck on your side for sure and something is changing for the better for you. While wow, something is changing for the worse for someone else. But this is because someone was wishing the worst on you. The number 28 is everywhere. Um, you guys could also be seeing the number, uh, or not the number. Someone here could be born in 1982. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is going on? What else do you know? Someone here could be 38 years old. What else is going on? What do, what do we need to know? Okay, so we have egg on the face, having to eat your words. So someone here is sad because they have to eat their words. Someone here could have been talking a lot of shit about you. <laughs> now they got to eat their words. Maybe someone here was laughing about what you do for work. That's another thing that was picking up earlier. Someone here could have been laughing at your dreams, your goals, and your aspirations. Telling everyone like, ha ha, hee hee. Like, I'm just going to take myself for an example. 
somebody could have been like, oh my god, hee hee ha ha, she thinks she could read cards, da 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 da, oh, she said, did you guys hear, she has a YouTube channel, blah 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 blah, it's gonna go nowhere, ha 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 ha, you know, shit like that. Um, maybe now they gotta eat the words, some shit. Someone here knows they need to apologize to you. They could feel ashamed. Somebody here could have been bragging about doing something fucked up to you. And then it failed. And now everyone's looking at this person like a fucking loser. Okay? Somebody here was trying to give you the evil eye. And that backfired. Somebody looked dumb as fuck. Someone here could have lost their employment. Maybe they lost their job. Maybe someone who, who was making fun of your job or what you do for work or whoever was trying to make you lose your job, this person has lost their job, okay? They could be stressed out about it. You gotta be careful what you wish for. We have car accidents. It says property damage, scares, danger, inconveniences. It says lowered frequencies, bad luck. So someone here could be experiencing some sort of bad luck here, okay? Someone here could be part of the LGBTQ community. That's This could be you or someone else. Flip it where it needs to go. Okay, but someone here could definitely be getting into a car accident, okay? Or just experiencing, like, freak accidents, okay? I'm also getting... Somebody here was trying to get you to experience these kind of things. Someone wanted you to be in danger, child. We have attacks. It says receiving aggression from others, gang stalking. It says symbolism or symbol, symbol, whatever. It says um, spiritual verbal. Come on now. Something about cocoa butter. Okay, so we have spiritual verbal. Um. Someone here has been trying to speak ill will on you. Someone here could be trying to send you spiritual. Someone's trying to put you under spiritual attack or trying to spiritually attack you. Okay. Um, this person could be speaking ill will against you. Someone here could be trying to get other people to be aggressive towards you and attack you. Um, someone here could be gathering a group together in order to harm you in some way or to spy on you. Okay. I feel like this is stopping though. Like, someone here, like, if you guys have experiencing group stalking, right, gang stalking, I feel like that is soon going to be put to an end, okay? We have destruction, it says self-sabotage and bad decision. Temper, it says anger causing problems, uncontrollable, blacking out, Jesus. Someone's meeting their match. Someone here thought they could spiritually attack you and they're realizing that you're spiritually fucking protected. Someone here is upset about this. This person could be throwing things, breaking things, having an adult tantrum because they can't stop you, destroy you, break you down in some way. They're mad. They're very mad that nothing they try to do to you works. It's because your prayer game is too strong, chow. We got injuries. Someone here wanted you to get injured. I'm also getting this person might end up getting injured. Okay. Someone here might end up going to the hospital and having to pay a very expensive um, medical situation. Okay. I hope not, child. I don't wish that on nobody. Especially if you live in America. I don't wish that on no one. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. That's not. Okay. We have looks, it says dis, uh, decrease in beauty, blah, looks, decrease in beauty, fading, sex appeal. It says allure gone, has been, spell broken. So somebody here wanted to stop your, your, your magnetism. They wanted to stop people from like being attracted to you or whatever this is. This is a hateful person. This is someone here who is jealous of what you'd be looking like, man or woman, child. That's so sad. And I feel like whoever was doing this, now their their looks might be fading or something. 
Someone here could be born in 1999. Yeah, you, got, you have divine protectors here who watch this person do whatever they did to you. I'm also getting like someone shocked because you're protected. I don't know what someone thought about you, child. I don't know what someone told about you. <laughs> but uh, they was wrong about whatever they was thinking because you are fucking protected. And, and some sort of karma is happening swiftly or some sort of judgment is happening swiftly on whoever was trying to attack you in some way. They could be experiencing unexpected bills. Okay, something here might be stressing them out. I don't know what it is, but... Someone here is experiencing some sort of burden for trying to come after you. Okay? What do they need to know, Spirit? We have up and out. It says, to heal the parts of me that feel hurt, I must feel every emotion. It has to come up to come out. It says, I don't try to push my feelings away. It says, I sit with them and feel them as I release them. Okay, so somebody here, you guys might need to purge. Start crying, okay? Listen, for all those comments of you guys being like, just, it's okay, you could cry. I know it's okay to cry. I'm not crying on camera. That's weird. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Um, but yeah, crying is a good form of releasing for sure. Someone here wants to express their love to you. Okay, or maybe you need to express your love to someone. It says, today I noticed the things I appreciate about the people in my life. I take a moment to send them love and to wish them well. My love is infinite and it feels great to express it. Okay, maybe this is something you already do. We got fuel. It says, I enjoy doing things that fuel me. It feels great to do things for myself. It says, when I make sure I am taken care of, I can better show up for those in my life. And for the work that I do. So there's something here about pouring a lot of love and self-care. Or doing a lot of self-care. Okay. In order to stay balanced. We have loving space. We have I cannot learn other people's lessons for them. They must get there themselves at their own time. I can simply hold loving space for them as they go through their journey. Okay. So there's somebody here that might want to come to you and ask you for help. You might need to tell this person they need to learn this situation on their own. Someone here is hoping that you'll help guide them through some sort of negative karma that they're dealing with. But this person, like this person, I don't know. They need to learn how, they need to, they need to do something. Like don't, learn what is your responsibility and what is not. Okay? Please. We have, it's not personal it says people's reactions or opinions of me are really not about me at all people tend to project their own insecurities or fears onto one another so when someone speaks unkindly to me i'll remember they have something going on that has nothing to do with me so someone here has been attacking you trying to destroy you because of how they feel about themselves. That is really the most saddest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please love yourself. What is going on? <sighs> Let me get out the shell. Someone's first motor or last name can start with a J, a C, a U, an S. Oh my gosh. A Y, an E, an X, a B, an N, an I, a Z, a K, an L. A P, an E again, a Q, an A again, an S, a G, an M, and a U again.
Someone's name could be Jessica. Yeah, someone's name is Jessica, literally. Jessica or Jesse. Someone here could be from California, don't have to be. Someone here could be from South Carolina. Someone here could be from Illinois, Idaho. Someone here could be from Europe. Someone here could be from Peru. Someone's name could be Peggy. Someone's name is Megan. Leah. Cecilia. Someone's name is Mia. Someone's name is Malia. Someone's name is Allie. Someone's name is Alexis. Or someone's name is Alex. Something here about insurance is significant. Something here about medical insurance or insurance or someone here is switching their insurance or someone needs to shit. Uh, someone needs to shit. Someone needs to switch insurances okay this could be your car insurance or you guys might find out something about car insurance or not a car insurance some sort of like insurance like a life insurance situation that it has been left to you that's for some of you not all y'all someone's name is jake someone's name is jack or jackie Someone's name could be um, Claire. Something here is going to be made simple for you. We got simple out here. I'm also getting somebody here thought you were simple minded or. Maybe someone here didn't think anything was special about you. Maybe now they do. I don't know. Someone here could have dimples. We got the word dimples out here. Maybe someone loves your dimples. Or yeah, they love your dimples. Maybe that's what they remember when they think about you, when you smile. Sergio, someone's name could be Sergio or Sergey. Said, I don't know. Let me just keep it like that. Um, someone here could be on a keto diet. Someone's name is Kenya. Someone is realizing that you're the one with the key here. Okay, someone here could have lost their keys. We got keys out here. Or someone here could play the piano. Someone's name is Yasmin. Something about eating yams. Yams, sweet potatoes. You had someone here that was really trying to attempt to dim your light, but it didn't work. And they're really upset about this. Someone here knows that something bad is coming for them, or they're experiencing a lot of bad series of events. We have bad out here. Someone knows why. Someone also could be sad here. Someone here could live by the Bay Area. Someone's name could be Jay. Someone's name could be Kayla. Or Kylie. We got Kylie out here. <clears throat> Someone's name could be Skylar. There's something here about sex. We got sex out here. Be careful who you have sex with. <clears throat> someone here definitely could be lying. Maybe someone lied about having sex with you. Someone's name could be Dext. Dext? I don't know. Someone's name could be, uh, somebody's name could be uh, Dolores. Something here about a deli. Someone's name could be JB. 
or initials could be JB. Someone's name could be Nelly. Something about a pension. Mm. Maybe someone here could be retiring. Maybe the person you meet is already retired. I don't know. <clears throat> someone here could drive a BMW. Some of you are about to buy something like a big purchase. We got buy out here. Or you're going to be experienced. You might be. Um, your money might increase to the point where you could buy something that you need to. Someone's name could be Kelly. Someone's seen something. Someone's seen something that, that you need to know about. Or someone's seen someone's true colors, okay? That's why they're they're telling someone to get lost. Something about your GPS or someone here seen someone track you <laughs> through your GPS or something. Someone's name is Jude. Or somebody here seen someone be your Judas. We got Judas out here. Seen Judas. Y'all could have seen Judas or you're about to see Judas. Somebody here is lucky as fuck. Or someone here could be saying that you lucky. We got the word lucky out here. Or someone wants to say that you seem lucky, but you ain't lucky. You blessed. You also got the word blessed out here. You're going to continue to get more and more blessings. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be a queen. We got the word queen out here. Or someone's viewing you like a queen. There's something here about CPS that could have been involved in this situation. Or you're going to be receiving, um, like you're going to be paid back from the universe if someone put you through any sort of hardships when it comes to CPS or making any false claims on you when it comes to the law in general. Someone's name could be Kim. Someone's name could be Cam Cameron or Cammy. Someone's name is Jim. Someone here could chew a lot of gum. Nicotine gum or gum in general. Someone here has a lot of pus coming out of their skin. For what? I don't know. <laughs> Someone's nasty. Um, somebody's doing something with their semen. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. Something about kin. Somebody here is next to kin. Something about the color blue is very significant. We got blue out here. You guys could be very much healing something here. Or going through a lot of um, healing situations. Someone here could be grumpy. Something about the DEA could be involved in some sort of situation. The men in blue. The police could be involved in this situation as well. Someone here could be, we got the word slum out here. So someone here could be from the slums. I'm getting the energy of like from rags to riches could be going on. Or someone witnessed you. They seen you go from rags to riches. Someone thinks that you're lucky because of that. But truly you just blessed. Okay. You did the right thing. You believed in yourself. You put your faith in God. Someone has a pug as a dog. Someone's name could be Louie. Luke. That keeps coming out. There could be a scripture in the book of Luke 
from the Bible that could be as or could be significance for some of you. Someone here could be puking. Someone's sick in the hospital. They could be throwing up a lot. There could be something going on with someone's stomach. Maybe someone here has like <clears throat> cancer of the stomach or something. Something about someone's lungs. We got lungs out here. Maybe someone's throwing up because they keep coughing because there's something wrong with their lungs. Jesus. Someone might sue somebody. We got Sue out here. Someone's name could be Susan. I'm gonna end it. Oh, and someone's name is Ken or Kenny. <clears throat> Listen, y'all. What else do they need to hear so I can bounce? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear? What do they need to hear? Someone's going to tell you something. Just know that. Someone's going to communicate something to you. Okay? Whatever whatever communication you get, you're going to get good news. Okay? <sighs> whatever it is, you're going to get good news. Something's coming. Something is something's going to be good coming your way. I'm also getting... You might hear something that might shock you. You might find out someone's in the hospital or something. This might make you sad. You might need to get it out. Okay? Remember, I just want to make this abundantly clear. Do not... Make sure not to rejoice in other people's karma that they're receiving right now, okay? Because it's not it's not funny. Even if you even if this is somebody here that you really dislike or somebody here who is really trying to end you or even take you off this planet, okay? Remember, these people are being used by the devil. They don't know what they're doing. All right? So it's 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 not okay to rejoice in whatever negative things are happening in their life, all right? You have to understand that you are also being judged at this time, okay? You're being judged on how you react or you're being judged on how you react to these to what they're going through as well, okay? No one's safe out here. Karma don't give a fuck about you, okay? I'm just being, I'm keeping it real. Keep your heart pure. Keep your thoughts clean. At this time, anybody can get it, bitch. Don't think you're scot free because you see your enemies getting their ass tossed up. That doesn't mean that doesn't give you permission to, you know. You know what I mean? Those who have empathetic. <sighs> Never mind. Let me not get into it. Let me not get into it because then people are going to get. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. We have 2121. It says energy levels. It says that day you've been waiting for will come. Maintain discipline. You are getting closer to your end goal. There is no need to overextend yourself. Guard your energy to remain focused. It will pay off. It's a climb, not an elevator ride. Trust in you. Okay? You're leveling up, baby boo. Trust in you. Trust in your divine guidance, your inner wisdom. Okay? Because you're on your way to something sweet. We have 1919. It says cycles. Karma will be paying you a visit. Release the need to control because you cannot force things. Learn your lessons so that they don't repeat in the future. It says make some space for new experiences. So something from the past is coming back around. It's testing you to see if you learned your gosh dang lessons, child. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I'm also getting like, you need to release um, some sort of con idea of control over something, okay? We have 888 Karma. It says a lot of money is coming your way. Fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success. If you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. This message encourages you to take personal responsibility and to use it to realize your greatest potential. Okay? <clears throat> Listen. Something unexpected is happening here. Alright? Something unexpected is going to be entering into your world. Some of it might make you sad. Some of it might shock you. Some of it might make you really happy. I feel like it's going to be a little combo of both. But, yeah. 
This all talks about divine intervention. It says this number serves as a gentle nudge to pursue whatever interests you most. It's possible that something could rock your boat, but you'll end up exactly where you belong, which could be in someone's arms, your dream job or abroad. Something beautiful coming in, whatever it is, child. Listen, this is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.